Everyone needs a motherboard with more LEDs on it. <laughs> Would you believe it's coming from Asus? Republic of Gamer Strix X99 Gaming Motherboard for Intel Core i7X series. Nope, it's not dead yet. You may have completely forgotten about uh, the X99 powered machines, those super expensive ones that came out before the uh, Skylight desktops. Quote, ROG Strix has taken on a brand new look and the time has come to debut the first motherboard in the ROG Strix series. ROG Strix X99 Gaming is a new ATX motherboard based on the Intel X99 chipset retrofitted with exclusive technologies to maximize the potential of the Intel Core i7X series processor for socket LGA 2011 V3. I love Asus motherboards. They are stable. They are well supported. They do a lot of nice work. The you know you get a ton of additional software in there that it actually is available when you get your hands on the board and actually functions. Did I mention they're nice and they work? There was a lot of buzzwords to actual content ratio in that paragraph. Um, <laughs> getting to the fun part, uh, there's Supreme FX Audio, which is uh, essentially uh, their work to get super clean, super tight, powerful audio, and Intel NIC, 2x2 band, dual Wi-Fi with multi-user MIMO support, SATA Express, M2, and U.2 storage support, which is a big deal because I've seen a few motherboards that had one but not the other. Uh, Thunderbolt 3, a reinforced PCI Express slot for heavier GPUs, which is nice, especially if you're the kind of person that shoves your GPUs in, like you're trying to push them all the way through the desk. Um, but, ladies and gentlemen... Sebastian writes, the feature that will be hardest to miss with the Strix X99 gaming motherboard has to be the customizable RGB lighting. So now, finally, I think you can just about get your uh, Corsair K70 RGB rapid fire keyboard to match your case. Possibly not in real time, <laughs> but you have all of the colors on a four pin RGB strip uh, right there on the motherboard backlighting, all sorts of things, casting a soft glow inside of your case, um, the little clips. I don't know. If, if we can drill down, you can kind of see how the, the little clips, little plastic clips at the end of the PCI Express slot will change colors as you change uh, the colors of the LEDs. <laughs> I expect that's going to be an incredibly expensive motherboard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's pretty likely. Um, I, for some reason, I... I adore the idea of those little clips being illuminated. Now, Alan pointed out last night that every time you put a graphics card in one, you are covering it to some degree, uh, which is true. But you're now underlighting your, your graphics card with a little bit exactly. of LED there. Now Aces is going to have to release a whole series of ROG GPUs with white enclosures to better reflect the light from the X99 ROG Strix motherboard. This is genius. They're going to sell dozens of these. <laughs> no, I actually, I mean, it's uh, snarking about LED. I, one, I'm, I'm with you. That level of detail is always kind of charming to see. Like, oh, what else can we light up? <gasps> these. Um, and two, though, uh, you know, they make nice motherboards. They do a really good job. They're not the cheapest motherboards out there, but they have a funny habit of not dying and functioning out of the box, which are two of my favorite things with motherboards. Um, yeah. Just thinking. Yeah. 